Hi, I'm Michael Chase, and welcome to Cup of Joe. Today, we're filming at Canada Post's ninth annual Think Inside the Box conference at the beautiful Carlew. Join us as we have caffeinated conversations with marketing influencers about how brands are transforming the way they engage with people. <laughs> Today we are speaking with Rick Valicenti, founder and design director of Thirst. Hello Rick, welcome to Cup of Joe. I'm happy to be here. Design and content are attached to almost every marketing interaction we have today. In your view and opinion, what's good content and good design today? I would like to say it's about meaningful messaging, but at the truth of it, there's only three kinds of messaging that designers get to do. We get to do messages uh, about value on sale this week only, if you act now. We get to do messages of value, and those are sort of relative. And then we get to uh, be do, <laughs> we get to design messages of no value. And I think the designer's responsibility is just to pick one of two of those three messages about value and messages of value. Messages of no value have no place, but they're out there. Can good design cut through the clutter that everybody's getting bombarded with today? I think it is the only thing that cuts through the clutter. There is such a din of noise that we're all experiencing, and it's so easy to push the delete button. I think the designer is that value added. The designer is the uh, seduction, the seducer, and the one that brings life to that communication. So can design stand the test of time today in this post-ordinal, fast-paced, multi-channel universe that we're living in? Some design does. I mean, we see this in the design of film, the design of music, the design of fashion, and we actually see it in the design of typography and the design of form. It's been going on since they've been putting paintings on cave walls. I see no reason to think that because we're in the 21st century and there's so much of it that none of it will bubble to the surface. Design is a really unique art form. Like those others I mentioned, it can preserve all the uh, sort of atmosphere that culture has at any given moment whether it's in the contour of a letter form or whether it's in the way light renders an object. All of those things indicate the moment in which it was created. But some pieces of design, some artifacts left behind by the design process are full of magical something. And that magical something does have the potential to endure. So give me a great magical example. Like what's, any, what's one of your favorites out there like where good design really is, you know, lasting? I'm a graphic designer, so I will have to turn to a more two-dimensional playbook. And I'll go back to uh, perhaps 30, 40 years ago. The quintessential piece of design that was uh, sort of eye-opening for me as a young kid was when I think it was 1966, Bob Dylan put out that album that had the Milton Glaser poster. That Milton Glaser poster abstracted Dylan's persona in a way that if I saw that today for the first time, I would find it fresh. Its form is uh, subtractive, but underneath all of that subtraction and all of that decor is something that just keeps lingering. On the other hand, if we look at 21st century design, the smartphone has only been around for a decade. Yet the interface and the functionality of that device, that has actually uh, become part of our fabric, part of our way of communicating. That's all design. If I can ask you, Rick, what's the one thing brands can do today to transform the way they engage with people? I would have to say, that if a brand was really being uh, a valued brand, they would have to treat their audience with the utmost respect. If they fail to do that, it's just business as usual. And the civility that we really need as a culture, 
a 21st century culture that at least where I come from, it's completely polarized, design can be the mitigator. And brands need to adopt a attitude of generosity, civility, respect. Anything else is just delete. Fascinating conversation, Rick. I love the take on the design world and how it actually helps us cut through the meh of what's out there today. Thank you.